Are you mentally prepared for a 30% crash in the price of Bitcoin? Are you financially prepared for a 30% crash in the price of Bitcoin? My guess is that most of you are probably not, and you'll freak out when it happens. You don't have no cash on the sidelines to be able to buy any dips. And then most people in the market will, of course, run from the usual panic buying the tops to panic selling the dips and giving their asses handed in the whole damn bull market and then making no money. Let me tell you from my years of experience in the market, this is exactly how you do not win at crypto. Sell rips, buy dips, keep it simple. I know it has to be a contrarian thought, but you have to keep it simple. And that's the reality of winning. So let's talk about why we should expect a 30% drop in the price of Bitcoin at some point. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know when it will happen. Nobody else does either. We all have our guesses, right? And why altcoins in this period will likely go down 50% or more. And that will be a great buying opportunity. That is the famous crypto volatility right there. It happens. Be ready for it. And let's discuss how you can win when this happens, most importantly. And I know what you're already thinking to stop, right? Just stop writing in the comment section right now. Okay. I know, I know, I know BlackRock's here. Very aware of the fact. I know that the Bitcoin ETF inflows are mega bullish right now, but let me tell you a little secret. I'll tell you this very clearly. Wall Street doesn't want you to know that this is not a one-way street for Wall Street. Okay. The people buying Bitcoin ETFs and BlackRock, they're humans just like you. They're susceptible to the same fear and the same greed as everyone else. If some panic event happens in the market or some macro shit happens that spooks everyone, then guess what? People will go risk off and you will see multi-billion dollar daily outflows from BlackRock as crazy amounts of Bitcoin get dumped in the market. That can happen, okay? So let's take a look at a typical bull cycle. In 2021, after we reached the previous highs at 20K and started back into price discovery, Bitcoin ran hard and fast, gaining 100% over just four weeks. Wild. It then dropped 30% over the following three weeks and took another three weeks before it actually started hitting some new highs once again. So in this example and applying the logic to our current situation, what could we maybe see? Bitcoin could push much higher before a truly significant pullback happens. Again, no one knows when a pullback will happen, just as a theory, right? Maybe we get to 90 or 100K and then retest the 69K area as price support, flipping that previous resistance into support. Technically a bullish move, by the way. Look, at the end of the day, no one has a crystal ball. And the Bitcoin ETF inflows are insane until the day when they're not. We had a billion dollar day this week. I mean, WTF is that. That's, that's insane. It blows my mind. But then again, nothing goes up forever but we can go up for longer. Nevertheless, the day will come when we do get a savage pullback in this market. Here's a chart from last cycle. It shows that we just had uh, one 55% crash, one 30% pullback, two 25% plus drops, and multiple drops of 15 to 20%. Last year from days to weeks, all pretty dramatic and all pretty painful for those who are not ready. And that's just Bitcoin. Of course, Solana, for example, had some insane price volatility. Yeah, great volatility. The upside was wild. But look at the, some of the drops. Also wild. Altcoins always move harder and more painfully than Bitcoin. I could show you a hundred other altcoin charts that look approximately the same. So what to do when this inevitably happens during our bull market cycle? And it will happen. Well, before I discuss that, just a quick reminder, if you want to start getting ahead of the curve in this super fast moving market, then let me and my team of expert writers and researchers help you and go sign up to the Wealth Mastery Newsletter. You see, every issue is going to be packed full of money making alpha on altcoin charts, airdrops, DeFi tutorials the news. It's a newsletter after all, and much, much more. So you can join 110,000 plus weekly readers and sign up for free using the link down below. Okay. So what's the play? You wake up, you check your phone and Bitcoin took a big fat dump overnight and your altcoins, they're over in the corner, puking their guts out. First step, do not panic. This happens. It's normal. And because it happens, you need to be very, very careful with leverage, very low leverage can actually even survive these kinds of crazy major sell-off events. But higher leverage, say 3x, 5x, and 10x and up, definitely will get washed out on these big corrections. Perhaps the key thing here is that when this happens, of course, though, is to have cash on hand to buy the dip. No chips means you don't get any dip, okay? And I know that's hard during an uptrend. The lizard brain in there keeps telling you to simply bet more as the prices keep soaring. But as the technicals get more and more overbought, 
The smart play may actually be to keep a little bit of cash on the sidelines and have your shopping list ready, or even just have those limit orders already put in for your favorite coins at major areas of price support or whatever. Now, some coins that I have on my radar right now for farther accumulation would largely be existing portfolio coins. For example, Jupe. This is a coin, the Jupiter uh, Exchange on Solana. This is a coin that I've been accumulating recently. I think it's got great narrative potential around the Solana hype and everything they're doing with their launch pad. The fundamentals are looking really strong on it, which is why I've been buying a lot of it off the open market. Maybe even some of my low market cap plays, higher risk, course, but stuff like mix mob or edge matrix computing, or maybe even a more solid gaming play like alluvium. Now, personally, I probably won't be adding any more top market cap coins during this cycle dip or not. Maybe if chain link went back to 10 bucks or AVAX back to 20 bucks, of course, we're not talking about taking profits into Bitcoin from altcoin plays. That's a bit different, but, but even then for these top coins, it would have to be a pretty brutal dip to really justify putting more money into top coins. Cause I know it'll be outperformed by lower market cap coins, by the way, full risk and portfolio disclosures in the description on YouTube or the pinned comment on X. You can see everything that I own there. Now, what about when a 30% dip is not normal, but is in fact the beginning of the end and the last chance to exit markets? Because there will be a day when that happens. What is the difference? How can you know? Well, you need to pay attention to what the market is actually telling you, not what you want to hear and see in the market. Regular wrenches to wash out leverage and greed are normal and healthy in the market, albeit painful when they happen. But the day will come when it's not just another 30% or 25% dip. It's actually the end of the bull market. And you need to stop looking at everything with rose tinted glasses and start selling everything and not buying the dip. But how will you know when this happens? Look, there's no definitive way to predict markets, right? But here are some factors to watch out for that will be a likely indicator that things are nearing an end. Coinbase app hitting number one in the app store. Uh, last time it did this just a few days before the market topped. Massive greed on your timeline. Watch for people who don't normally do this kind of stuff, flexing watches or new car purchases, late night TV shows, buying million dollar NFTs, another sign of the market being very late and dangerous. New York Times, Time Magazine, front page articles about how everybody's getting hilariously rich on crypto. That's another possible signal. We might also watch out for some very highly anticipated news events as well, which can mark the tops in the markets. For example, the Coinbase IPO was a major local top in early 2021, after which the price came down by 55%. The El Salvador legalizing Bitcoin as legal tender actually marked the end of the bull market. On the technical side, here's some things you can watch out for. Watch out for indicators like the Pi Cycle Top Indicator to flash. It was uh, flashing within just a few days of the top last time. You have the MVRVZ. If that gets above the pink box or near the top of the pink box, it's a big warning signal. Now you can find all those charts, by the way, on lookintobitcoin.com. Pretty useful site for on-chain metrics and stuff like that. By the way, other things like the weekly MACD hitting a bear cross and kind of you have a big mountain like peak and starting to go on the other side of the peak. Well, that's probably the last chance to get out with any profits in hand. Just remember, of course, nothing's definitive, but also nothing goes up forever. There will be a bear market again. So taking profits on the way up that can help you to secure those gains, selling the rips, buying the dips until it's not time to do that anymore. And remember this, you'll either take your profits or the market will take them for you. Write it down, get a tattoo of it. Maybe not tattoo advice, but <laughs> write it down and remember that guys, because it's true. Thanks for watching.